Hello, my name is Catherine Frost. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I'm a member of the third cohort of the Welders. I'm continuing our Inspired By series, and I'll be discussing Zora Neale Hurston and George C. Wolf. I was first introduced to Zora in high school. It's one of the few required readings I both remember and remember liking, because I definitely remember some of the ones I wasn't as captivated by. And what stood out to me about Sweat was finally seeing on paper how the world sounded to me. So that was a big moment. And I clearly decided Zora Neale Hurston was required reading because the copy I have of Their Eyes Were Watching God is a school copy that I realized that I never returned. I don't even know if I really checked it out. I don't remember. Don't tell anybody. I'll pay for it. I won't. <laughs> it's mine now. Um, and I continued looking into Zora Neale Hurston. I came across her biography for Dirt Cheap at this amazing used bookstore in Richmond called Chop Suey. So reading Wrapped in Rainbows by Valerie Boyd was amazing. It really gave a lot of insight into her academic journey and how that then translated into a creative career. And I felt a lot of parallels with that. Um, I was interested in some of the schools that she attended. Um, I originally thought I would study anthropology in college, which is what she pursued. But I ultimately ended up um, in theater, a theater minor and an Africana studies major. And I guess I just really appreciated seeing how she took that ethnographic lens into works like Barracoon, which I'd only read about in the biography, but now I'm actually working my way through because there's been new attention um, on some of Zora's works and they've been published more recently rather than during her lifetime. Um, but yeah, this ethnographic lens that she has for works like Barracoon, which is an interview, a, an account of Kasula, the survivor of the Clotilda slave ship that she was able to spend time with and form a relationship with. Um, so not just those nonfiction works, but also creative pieces, novels, short story collections, and plays that she worked on. And one of the plays that I'm spending more time with now is George C. Wolfe's adaptation of her short story, Spunk. And I became familiar with George C. Wolfe in college because the Colored Museum was the first production I was a part of and really taught me the power of theater. Before that point, I had only participated in devised theater in high school and middle school. So having costumes and lights and sound cues for the first time was amazing, but then also feeling so connected to 
the content in the vignettes that George C. Wolf crafted was amazing. So I'll stop there because I feel like I just recommended seven different pieces and I hope uh, if you have them or if you're able to come into contact with any of them that you'll fall in love with Zora Neale Hurston and George C. Wolf just as I have.